You know, if I'd have studied hard enough in college, I could have been an architect. Oh yeah, this is not an architect. This is like an architect. Yes, it is. Damascus AO3, SOG. I'll tell you what, made in Japan. Oh, you know what? I got this. This is part of a group of knife I got from my buddy uh, and that I'm going to be selling. So, you know, feel free, uh, actually. Um, but I opened this box when I got it. Oh, God, you just love that. 15-layer Damascus VG10 core. See, I kept thinking these were opals that were put in the thumb stud. And then I read somewhere it was abalone. Crap. You know what? I'm not sure now what it is. Does that drive you crazy sometimes? You uh, And that's a short drive for me. So it could be either. It really looks opal to me. Carbon fiber. Really nice knife. I really love it. You know what? I'm going to pull the paperwork on this because uh, I think I printed something out on this and I'm going to tell you about it. Because you know what? I had one of these. I had one of these, but I didn't have the Damascus one with the VG10 core. I didn't have the, the carbon fiber. I had the bone, the glossy polished bone handle. And I don't have a picture of that one. And it, it was just San Mai. It was that laminated VG10. So, wow, baby. <laughs> they ain't giving these away either. AO3, like I just showed you, right? It, SRP, 624 bucks. Wow. 450, basically 55 bucks. That is... That's some money, honey. Eight inches, three and a half inch blade, eight inch overall, VG10. You know, carbon fiber. And I was wondering if they were going to talk about the bolsters because uh, um, VG10 core, textured carbon fiber, oh, stainless bolsters, okay. And almost, you know, it feels so light. It's got the arc lock, of course. It, it felt so light that I was almost thinking maybe that was titanium. But it's not. It's stainless steel. Wow. Look at that. Backspacer. And it's, you know, it's flush. Uh, the fit and finish on here is really good. I mean, you could niggle at it if you wanted to. I mean, check the scale out here. I mean, when you come off of here, it's pretty seamless here. But you can feel just, just a little bit above the bolster here as it meets. Here, um, you know, what? I, it, you know, here it's pretty flush, but here it's a little bit below the bolster. So did it, you know, this is above, this is below, above, below a little bit. Did that really get, I don't know. So... You know, there's just teeny tiny infinitesimal little things which don't really add up to much of anything. Carbon fiber. This carbon fiber is not a real glossy, slick carbon fiber. You can see. Uh, it's got traction on it, actually. Not a pretty... Oh, well, let's do the arc lock thing, right? Wow. Oh, it's slick. It's slick. Wow. I miss mine. I had one for a while, and uh, I may have had two of them. I may have sold one and got another. Um, you know, sometimes if you uh, lay weight on eBay enough, somebody might come up and be desperate to, to get rid of theirs and have a best offer thing, and maybe maybe you could talk them out of it for a good price. So that's kind of how I negotiated mine. But I never did have one of these. It seemed like they weren't uh, too negotiable on any of these. Deep carry clip. You love that? Whew, slide right in the pocket. Really nice. You know, I didn't see anything on the paperwork about 
flipping this to the other side and I don't know if you can pull this apart see how this goes into the back of the handle if you can pull that out turn it around because it looks like it's dead center I don't see why you couldn't reverse it so that may be possible that's where my my fund of knowledge goes fundless it's it's really I'm sorry but no I uh sorry to be kind of a downer there but no I don't know about the reversible capability of that pocket clip whether it is or it isn't pretty knife though I mean uh isn't that Damascus nice and I think I've seen let me let me look at the one I just showed you look at the pattern on the Damascus okay look at the pattern on this isn't this a little strange look at this very very straight look at this one so you know there's variance so when you get a knife you know it's kind of one of a kind in that regard because it's got a pattern that's not going to be exactly like another knife architect does it say anything on this side all it's saying is i'm high dollar joe but you know you want me so take me home anyhow and this one I believe is basically new in the box uh, it's kind of cool how it came uh, you know just a regular type box you know it says saw on the top and it's got all the niggles here right lifetime warranty all that kind of stuff um, but it has this clear type insert which is pretty cool and then it was in this plastic and then it was in this little form-fitted insert in there with the top I thought that was pretty you know it would have been nice if they'd have done a microfiber uh, pouch too but then again I don't know it was but it was you know fitted right in there in the plastic so mm, yeah just a really nice knife oh well I'm sitting here uh, <sighs> let's find out how much it weighs at least we can do something um positive and yeah get things done here we go four ounces wow so 115 grams it doesn't weigh a whole lot does it three and a half inch blade supposedly but are they lying to us let's find out probably not looks like three and a half to me eight inches overall yeah, pretty close might be a 16th shy but you know we're 20 centimeters so three and a half inches what is that it's right there at about nine centimeters now cutting edge about eight and a half centimeters which is about three and three eighths inches so that's what you got there at least you got some traction here look at that that's just uh I mean look at the pattern through the top you know where you see the uh the core steel running through here that is so nice nice blade grind here of course this is made in japan and uh those boys make a really good knife yes they do i don't know luke eh, you know thumbs to one side you can change it up you know if you want it on the other side I guess because you could take this screw out of here and pop it over on the other side but eh, I kind of like getting ambidextrous thumb studs but oh well yeah um can you use the thumb stud to open it oh yeah sure kind of makes sense to do that doesn't it yeah well let's see if this thing's centered up oh yeah let me let me look around the edge yeah yeah it's it's pretty well centered it may it may just slightly favor that way just and it's hard for you to tell because you know you're just having to deal with the angle that I'm showing you on my you know as you change it maybe just a niggle 
to this way here, but not much. Not much. Backspacer, like I said. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, that's nice. And it's decorative. And yeah, it should be. For what was this? Four trillion dollars <laughs> for this knife? Wow. I mean, well, you go to, uh, you know, you go to SOG and you look for, uh, in there, you know, from high price to low price. This is right there. I mean, this is their highest price knife that I can think of right off the top of my head actually um, 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 um let's get to something we can get a hold of yeah it's gonna be like an eighth of it it's not you know eighth of an inch supposed to be 0.125 but so just right at three millimeter thick let's see if we got something to say for ourselves here 12.3 12.4 millimeters and uh yeah almost a half inch so it's not, you know, incredibly thin um, the handle. And you got this stainless bolster, which is nice. It's really kind of a nice brushed finish. Pretty well done. I mean, uh, that's bright and shiny, isn't it? Yeah. Pretty thick uh, slabs of stainless in there. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm seeing anything, if they did anything to necessarily uh, skeletonize. No. So, I mean, the bolsters, the liners, just like go all the way down. You got the carbon fiber on top of those. And I'll try and give you a nice long look at it. The, the action on it feels really good. Oh, Somebody the other day was asking me for like top to bottom, you know, uh, height. So, you know, I'll try and accommodate you there. Uh, looks like about two and a half inches. You can look yourself. So you decide. I mean, when you go right up here, a little over two and a half height on that tall, tallest part of the blade. So there you go. Arc lock. Easy action, beautiful knife, nice and light, four ounces. Still got a three and a half inch blade, but it's barely eight inches, maybe just a skosh under eight. So it's fairly, uh, uh, you know, it's it's very carryable because it's fairly small, not real, real large, not a monster. But with a three and a half inch blade, it's just your kind of your standard EDC dream uh, carry right there. Especially as light as it is. But boy, is it a nice looking knife. Nice looking blade. <sighs> Shall we try? <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah. So, yeah, it's nice and sharp, too. Yes, it is. <sighs> Make it all brand new again. There we go. Pretty knife. Love the treatment of the thumb stud here. Abalone or opal? I don't know. Looks like opal. They said, I saw a place where they said abalone. Don't know. In any case, it's just a lovely knife. I really like it. I think it's uh, aces up. It's one of my favorite SOG knives. That and the Fat Cat. The Tom Cat. That kind of thing. The Vulcan. Those are the nice knives, and after that, I'm starting to lose interest. You know what I mean? As far as the folding knives go. Sorry, but that's kind of how I roll. Yes. All right, guys. I'm going to let you go. I've taken up enough of your time. SOG. I don't know what their slogan is, but it, I was going to say anytime, anywhere, buddy, but I don't think so. I think that was Cold Steel. Still looks badass, you know. I mean, these guys, uh, they're serious. Look like serious guys. And they make some beautiful knives, this one here. Absolutely. Yes, we do. We love them knives. Thanks.